Hi everyone. Now, you won't believe this, but I just went to make this video and I thought, hang on a second, I haven't got enough content for this video. It's just, it's not going to be long enough. And then I thought, Wait, hang on, this is exactly the problem with a lot of my videos. They're too long. I should make a short video. And the the really small content that I thought I had, I actually went on about it for 20 minutes. And I can't believe I did that. But, oh, anyway. The concept I want to show you today, which I'm going to try and make really, really quick now, is consider this sequence. S equals 1 plus X plus X squared plus X cubed plus dot dot dot. So this just goes on forever and ever comes plus x4, plus x5, plus x6, etc. Now, it turns out that if x, the size of x rather, is less than 1, which means it's between minus 1 and 1, this sequence is actually equal to 1 on 1 minus x. That is, it has a finite value. Now, this is contrary to, I think, what a lot of people's mistaken ideas about infinity would lead them to believe that, or to assume rather, that because this sequence, this series, has an infinite amount of elements, because this just goes on forever and ever, that therefore the value of this must be infinite. But actually, if x, the size of x, is less than 1, it's not. For example, if x equals a half, s equals 1 on 1 minus a half, which is equal to 2. You can try it on your calculator. Add 1 plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus a sixteenth, and keep on doubling the denominator and keep on adding up together. And you'll see that it really rapidly converges to 2, and it never goes higher than 2. You can check it as long as you want. You can write a piece of software which will add millions and millions of them together. It'll never go more than 2. And actually it'll go to 2 really rapidly. Uh, it has a high rate of convergence. Now, the key thing I want to show you in this video is actually a graphical demonstration of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, actually I'm going to start a new piece of paper so I can get a nice big diagram. Okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this line and let's let this line define one unit. Okay? Now, I'm going to draw a line along here. Okay? And let's define this as our x value. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line which connects these two to make it into a triangle. And I'm going to draw a 45 degree angle from here. Until they intersect. Okay. Now, this is interesting because what I'm going to do now is this line is vertical, this line is horizontal. I'm just going to take this line over to our 45 line and then up to our, our third side of our triangle extended and across and up and across and up, etc. Okay? And what you'll notice is that this side is x times that side. And this triangle is just a smaller version of that. And this side has to be x, because this is a right-angled isosceles triangle. You know, it's 45, and it goes up and up like that. It should be pretty obvious that those two are equal. Okay, And that because this side must be x times that side, that one is x squared. Okay, And so, so must that one. Okay, And continuing this pattern... That side there must be x cubed, and there's a sign there, uh, sorry, an x in there, 
a side in there, which is X4, and it just goes on forever, but it gets really, really small. Like I said, it's a rapidly converging sequence, so these parts get really, really small. But the point to notice is that they can't go further than this point, because we keep on going from, you know, between these lines, it couldn't possibly go any further than this point. Okay, so therefore, and what we can do is, we can make this big triangle here, okay, and just take those lines down. Okay, and this piece is x, this piece is x squared, this piece is x cubed, and it'll be x4, etc. So basically, this length is that infinite sequence. We can see that it does, in fact, converge. Okay, so the take home message is that just because there's an infinite amount of stuff in something, and specifically in mathematics, we can have uh, a sum of an infinite amount of terms and that sum is still finite. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me some feedback in the comments section, whether you liked it, whether you'd like to see more, if there's anything specific you'd like, you get the idea. Okay, thanks guys, see ya!